Drums, please. <laughs> Hey everybody, c out here and welcome to Dopamine, the show that is all about mental health empowerment. Today I'm talking to you, my fellow INTP, about how to start a project. Uh, so this begins a bit of a series about uh, being productive as an INTP, because I'm starting a series of workshops called the INTP Productivity Workshop. The first one starts tonight when this video goes up, so by the time you see this, this the doors will not be open, but you can go and check out the link below if you're watching this at a different time to see if the doors are open and see if this is something that's available to you. Even if you are interested and want to do this in the future, let me know in the comments below. You can also sign up for our email list to get a to be a part of that. Now, this is if this is one of the, the first couple of videos that you've seen that you like so far that I've done, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you can get the notifications and uh, be able to watch more videos. And uh, I'm going to do the best that I can. So as you can see, I'm kind of doing a, a different style for this video because I'm trying to just get this done. Uh, I've got a lot of things on my plate today. And uh, because I have a lot of things to do, I've, I've got a lot of things uh, set up that I need to do. I need, I'm finishing this productivity workshop. So I'm like, I've got my list here of stuff that I'm working on right in front of me. I've got my camera connected to the computer. And for me to get it set up and do the usual setup is just going to take way too long. So I'm okay taking the hit and making this not look as pro as I usually do. Um, and having the big Yeti microphone in my face <laughs> and all of that stuff. Uh, so, you know, concessions need to be made sometimes in order to get a project done and to start it. Um, and really starting is the first most important thing for any INTP to, to do. Like just starting, regardless of how it looks, regardless of having an end game in mind, regardless of knowing the entire plan is usually an important part of actually getting the thing done eventually. And we'll do a different video about uh, actually getting work done and finishing projects, but this is just about starting and starting means, first of all, reframing what it means to start a project. Um, because I think a lot of us, a lot of INTPs, we compare ourselves to judgers. We are com compare ourselves to the output nature of, of judgers that to be productive means you have to be physically doing something, which is part of it. That's a big part of, of getting things done is, 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 being, you know, bringing your ideas physically into the world. But as I talked about in my last video, there's an element of thinking. Thinking is a big part of what we do as INTPs. We incubate ideas. And for us to incubate an idea, it's going to take a lot of thinking. Now, the difference between just thinking about something and being productive about something, quote unquote, productive about something, is simply writing it down or talking it out. So once you start working through an idea and you're baking an idea, Really, the first step of starting something is to get it out into the world somehow. That means you can literally talk to yourself just to hear how the idea sounds out loud because thoughts in a sense, and there's another video I'll do about this as well, thoughts in a sense are kind of sparks in our mind. And I think of, of, I think of thoughts, I think of thoughts, of course I think of thoughts, I think of thoughts as these individual sparks in our mind that are pre-language. So once we put language to something, especially language in our head, it can sound perfectly presented. It can sound perfectly, uh, you know, how we want it to be, whether it's something we're saying or something we're building or doing. But the reality of the situation is that we're going to have to experience feedback our ideas may not gel with someone as much as we are, we think they're going to. Uh, we may have to deal with uh, external factors in reality. Uh, you know, s even if your your project involves something like wind resistance, <laughs> you know, you've got to consider that in terms of actuality. So the only way to do that is by doing it. So getting started is about motion. Getting started isn't about a specific thing or defeating yourself or, or self-deprecation or, or self-judgment, being lazy, or even starting at a specific time. It just means starting. It means getting into motion. That means going forward, regardless of what that means. 
So if it means starting with a template, doing something simple, it's not going to look good. All you're trying to do is create the first iteration. So when you're starting, the idea is to make sure you're not putting so much pressure on yourself that you're trying to create this perfect thing because that's not what you're trying to do. You're not trying to create this perfect thing. You're trying to create something. You're trying to create the first iteration. You're trying to create the draft. And all you need to do is make a draft. And making the draft is just free flow. Just play with it. That's all you're doing. It's taking the pressure off. And I think that's a challenge that a lot of INTPs have is like we take the FE approach of productivity, right? We take this approach of like, it's got to look buttoned up. It's got to be perfect. It's got to be presented the way I want to present it. It's got to be infallible. It's got to make me look competent. It's got to make me seem smart. It's got to make me uh, the, the, the a devoid of, I got to make sure that there's no possible feedback that could come back from this. That's not the point. Not getting feedback is not the point. You're not trying to figure it all out on the first try. Feedback is part of the process. Feed park, feed, feed park. Feedback is part of, of the overarching end result of what it is that you do. If I didn't get feedback for these videos, I would not know what to do next. I would just be shooting in the dark and I'd be trying different things. But I've been getting more and more feedback that you guys want to see videos about productivity. So I'm doing videos about productivity. I'm still going to do it my way. I'm doing it the way that I want to. I'm talking the way that I want to. I'm using the thumbnails that I want to use. I'm wearing my headphones and doing the Blue Yeti thing instead of doing it the way I normally do it. Because really the goal is to just get it done right now. So sometimes that means iterating can be over time. It doesn't necessarily need to be just the life of the project itself. Like dopamine for me is a project. So each video is an iteration of what it is that I'm doing. If you go back and watch the first video, there's all sorts of comments from uh, projecting <laughs> INTPs telling me that what's wrong with the video. Um, and, you know, there's a difference between constructive criticism and someone who's trying to be hurtful. And some people are going to try to be hurtful and just be you know, pointing out your, indis in your discrepancies and that's, that's, that's on them. But, uh, for you to be able to have experience to eventually see the difference between the feedback that you're getting and the feedback that is actually, that is hurtful versus helpful is a measure of experience, but also being able to trust in your process so much that Ultimately, even if you get negative feedback, if it still makes sense to you, that's what you're going to do. So I'm making videos about productivity because it makes sense for me to do that. I got enough INTPs that are like, this is what we want. And I'm like, you know what? That's something I can provide and I can do it the way that I want to do it. So I just get started and I just get it done. And start, getting started can just look a couple of different ways, right? It can be taking notes. It could be saying the thing out loud. It could be just thinking about it and then you know, getting to that point where you're stuck and then trying something else. But either way, if you're making notes, you're doing bullet lists, whatever, you, your project is started and you're going to get going on it. So this is not about uh, not getting distracted. All That's a whole different thing. It's just about getting started. And I know that if you're kind of a younger INTP, you might have a challenge with getting started with a bunch of projects and then stopping. Starting is about commitment. Once you start something, it becomes a part of your personal code to tell yourself that you're going to finish it. You're going to see it through. Now, there might be a point where the, it doesn't make sense to continue the project anymore holistically. Like it doesn't matter to you. Like it's like for some reason, you know, the project isn't going to be effective to anyone and it doesn't make sense or you moved on to something else. That's fine. You're allowed to do that. But if this project's important to you, don't abandon it. Just, just don't let it go there's no reason for you to let it go. This is important to you. And if it's important to you and you still let it go, perhaps you need to examine how important to you it actually is. Because if it's important to you and it's going to have some sort of change or it's going to affect people or be supportive to people in some sort of way, then that's going to be something that's going to carry you through the project itself. So we'll talk more about that in other videos about like motivation and focus and blah, 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 blah. But there are also things that um, I'm going to talk about in the INTP productivity workshop that are going to be important to you and your context and what you're dealing with. Because like me, I'm a designer. Uh, I'm also now just like this kind of like, 
I don't know, philosopher, coach, teacher, person. And, uh, this is a different new world for me. So this means that, uh, I'm starting in different ways and the way that you need to start a project is going to look different. Perhaps you need to, co uh, to collaborate with people more and more. But, um, that brings me, I guess, to the last point is that, uh, that we as INTPs are more natural remixers and calibrators. And so it's much more enjoyable for us to look at something and scrutinize it, right? To say like, this needs updating in this way, or this needs fixing, or this needs, this needs to be, you know, this, this link in the chain is broken and this is how you can fix it. Uh, so when we're starting projects for ourselves, we need to get it to a place where we can start to do that calibrative work for ourselves. So that means going to work quickly. So when you get excited about an idea, when there's something that's sparking in your mind, don't just let it sit there. It's going to fester in your brain like the, the pie metaphor. It's just going to sit on the counter, collect dust, and not be edible after a while. You have to do something with it. You have to write it down. You have to tell it to someone. You have to start working out the, the outline or try to figure out how you're going to present this thing. Uh, and really, it's just about getting the ideas out there. Once you get the basic level idea, the draft, without the pressures of thinking about what other people are going to think about it yet or you know what, what language to use, what's going to be the right perfect thing, the idea is to just get it out there. Just do it. And that's really the first step is to just do it. And um, I can't put it any simpler than that, that once you feel this, this internal spark, this motivation, this feeling of an idea where you're just like, that's the thing. Okay, let me work that out. And then you start writing it out. And then once you get stuck, you start to brainstorm with someone else to use that extroverted intuition to, you know, kind of borrow other people's intuition and be able to carry that project through to its fruition, uh, eventually getting feedback, making adjustments, things like that. So again, dopamine is a project. Each video is part of the project, but each video is in a sense, a draft of each other. So I do a video as quickly and as roughly as I can, because if I need to reiterate a, a, a concept I'll do another video. If I need to change a graphic, I'll do it in the next video. It's not about making the entire thing perfect. It's not about being um, absolutely buttoned up and super presentable or trying to be the way that judges are being, to be super scheduled, to be super put together. We need to find our own ways and, and methods of doing this important work for ourselves the way that we know how to do it. So really the idea is to get started. So if you have a project, you have an idea, you have something you've been quote unquote procrastinating on, you don't need to sit down and do the entire project right now. You just need to get it onto your notes app or you just need to make it real somehow by talking about it or sharing it with someone. Record it on a video, talk about the concept, write it down, write it in a, make a map out of it. Make, I don't know, do something, just do something, just do something, just do something. That's it. You just got to do something and let the momentum carry you forward into creating this thing into fruition. So that's just the beginning. There's so many other things that we can talk about. So on the productivity workshop, we're gonna be talking about the limiting beliefs of INTP productivity, potential challenges. We're gonna be talking all about uh, what qualifies as productivity, uh, being prepared to be productive, motivation, focus, and shipping things, getting things out there. There's so much to cover on all of these productivity workshops. And these are the things I'm going to be doing videos on, but for us to apply it to your context, you got to be there. You got to show up. So click the button below, sign up for the next one. And um, even if it's not available, make sure you sign up for our email list because then you will be able to, you know, be notified when the doors open and get early access. And there might be perks for being able to get access to it early. So I'm gonna be doing this every month because I think this is important. I think INTPs uh, need to learn their own value when it comes to being productive and, um, and and learn our ways in which we can be productive. So this this means a lot to, to me as an INTP because I've learned this over time. And this is part of my life's work is to support you to show the world that INTPs are productive, useful, helpful, insightful, clever, 
wonderful, connective, romantic, loving, intelligent, funny, wonderful people. Uh, you are all of those things. And if you are not allowing yourself to be those things, that is a personal limiting belief that you need to explore. If you want to explore that with me, I am a coaching I'm a coach. I'm a coaching coach. <laughs> so if you want support, you can either join the productivity workshop or if you don't want to be with a group of INTPs, we can do it together one-on-one. -on -one. Just let me know in the comments <clears throat> or reach out to me at you know one of the links below. I'm losing my voice. And with that being said, if you want to go check out our articles, podcast episodes, programs, everything that we've got, go to dopamine.life. And we also have the beta version of our chat bot that I've been building. Uh, if you want to go through that and provide some feedback, especially if you're, you know, for sure that you're an INTP, that'll be a big help to go through that. Let me know what your experience is like, and then I can kind of keep building on that. So anyway, dopamine.life articles, podcasts, etc. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. I hope you start to get things done uh, a little bit of a faster clip. If you have questions about it, comments, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for being here. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll catch you next time on Dopamine. See ya.